continuing where we left off, uh, we've got this dictionary D. And I'm going to go ahead and use the dictionary constructor uh, D I C T. And we're going to add new elements to this dictionary. Currently, it's empty. And if we were to print it, let's go ahead and print it and see what an empty dictionary looks like. Notice it's just this open and close curly brace. That is what our empty dictionary looks like. Now let's add something to it. Let's create a key called um, Gandalf. Gandalf. And we're going to assign the value to it of wizard. And let's go ahead and print the dictionary. Gandalf wizard. All right, let's add a few more. Let's say, um, I'm just going to copy this, and instead of Gandalf, we'll do Frodo, and let's say Hobbit, and let's say, I'm just going to really dork out here and say Elrond, and say Elf, and let's say, um, Sauron, and let's say um, <laughs> uh, Burning Eye. <laughs> uh, I think he was like a elf at one point in history. It doesn't, really doesn't matter. So let's see how this populates. And that's pretty straightforward. We've got, um, you know, over here we've got Gandalf Wizard, Frodo Hobbit, Elrond Elf, Sauron Burning Eye. So um, I'm going to just do this. I'm going to, you're going to see this kind of loopage a lot. So for key value, um, I could say key value in D dot items. Items is just going to return a tuple. We'll get into that later. Um, I'm going to print and I'll just print the key and the value. So we have this nice output over on the right. Gandalf Wizard, Frodo Hobbit, Elrond Elf, Sauron, Burning Eye. So that's how you add values to add key value pairs in a dictionary.